guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today I am very excited to be filming this video because I am sharing with you the new lip kits from Makeup Revolution. So a little while back they brought out the matte lip kits which I've done a video on. I'll leave that linked down below if you've not seen that one yet. But recently they just launched their metallic lip kits and their glossy lip kits. So I picked up two of each and today I'm going to share with you my thoughts, my opinions, I'm going to do some hand swatches and some lip swatches so that you guys can see all the colours as well. And before we get started I just wanted to let you know that my Makeup Revolution giveaway is still open on my channel. The link is going to be the very very first link in the description if you want to go and head over after you've watched this video and watch it, learn how to um, enter, it's really simple. You basically just have to subscribe and comment on the video that you've entered, so yeah. Definitely go and check that out if you have time as well. So they brought out three lip kits in the metallic section and three in the glossy section. I only got two because the other um, other shades in the range I just didn't think would suit me. There was like a, a dark plummy metallic lip and I'm not really into wearing that all the time so I didn't think I'd get that much use out of it. And then there was like a really light lip gloss which I thought maybe would have just been a little bit too light with my skin tone. But yeah, there's definitely two other shades in the um, both range so definitely check those out on the Tam Beauty website as well. I will also leave that link in the description box. Oh and if you think that I look different today it's because I have fake tan on so it's just in case anybody's like what is different about her. That's what it is. So I'm going to start off with the gloss lip kits. I got the shade Truth and Original. This is the original one here. First of all the packaging is so beautiful. It's got like the nice shiny rose gold lid and detailing. Um, the writing is in rose gold and the name of the shade is in rose gold as well which is amazing considering these kits are only six pound and you're getting a lip liner and like a lipstick or lip gloss it's just amazing how beautiful the packaging is for that price so yes this is the original one so this is the lip liner first of all as you can see really really creamy just like the matte lip kits and this is the lip gloss it's a really really nice kind of like very muted pink brown really pretty and it's not that glossy either it's just got a really nice shine to it nice and thick and nice and opaque the next one that I got was the shade Truth and again the packaging is the same as the original one and it's similar to the metallic lip kits as well with like the little rose gold lid so I won't bother showing you up close all the different packagings because you'll probably get bored of me showing you that but they do all come the same this is a lip liner for Truth and again you can see how creamy that is it's a really really similar color to original and this is the lip gloss here again really opaque and really beautiful it's kind of more a red based brown than a pinky brown i'm sorry if anything looks any different from the last clip if the lighting's changed or my face has changed you know i mean my makeup not my actual face um i have been out for lunch slash dinner and yeah it's been a good couple of hours now so i am going to show you a swatch of the lip liners and the glossy lip kits on my lips now so as you can see the lip liners go on really really well they're really smooth super pigmented they don't drag on the lips at all that is very similar to the matte lip kits if you've seen my video for that one the lip liners were so so smooth original is a really nice kind of pinky brown whereas truth is a ready brown to be honest they're really similar i don't think you would need both if you wanted like a nude lip gloss well a browny lip gloss you probably wouldn't need both so um i like truth better because it's a little bit darker and i just think that it suits me a little bit more i wanted to talk about the lip gloss formula as well to be honest it doesn't really feel like a lip gloss to me it's not sticky on the lips at all and it doesn't really like sit on the lips all that much like a lip gloss does like when you slide it around your mouth you can't really feel that it's there it feels really creamy like i would i would more say that it's a creamy lipstick more than a lip gloss which i like because the one worst the worst worst thing for me with lip gloss is the stickiness of it and like your hair getting caught in it especially if you've got like long hair it is a nightmare so i absolutely love the formula of these and i also love that there's not like a heavy scent or anything overall these are amazing i think i like them more than the matte lip kits which is which is crazy for me because i am so obsessed with matte lipsticks just now that for me to love a lip gloss more <laughs> that says something about it so yeah the lip glosses are definitely a big thumbs up for me 
I also got two of the metallic lip kits which I am very excited about. I'm wearing one just now which is this one in the shade We Rule and I also got one in Sovereign. So this is We Rule. As you can see the lip liner itself is really really glittery and sparkly and this is the metallic kind of lip sticky gloss I would say. It's like a rose gold pinky colour. You can probably see it better as I turn my hand here in the light. Obviously the true reflection of how it looks is when I'm wearing it on my lips so hopefully you can see how nicely it kind of like glosses? No. <laughs> Glistens? I don't know what word I'm trying to go for but like just how metallic and reflective it looks as like I turn my face and the light hits it. I really really love it. It's a beautiful colour. It is a tiny little bit light but that's only because I've got a little bit of fake tan on so I'm not used to my skin looking as dark as this. I don't know if it even comes across on camera because I've got the lights but in the viewfinder here it does look a tiny little bit too light for me but I really really love it. It's a beautiful rose goldy pink and I think again the formula is great. This is Sovereign here and this is the metallic lipstick. This one is really like a greyish brown shade. So I'm going to show you me applying both of the shades to my lips now. Right away hopefully you can see that the lip liners are really light so it's quite hard to line your lips with them. They're really glittery. They kind of just remind me of a, like a glittery eyeliner instead of a lip liner. So that is the only, I would say it's a complaint that I've got. I don't really mind it because I know it's, it is a metallic colour at the end of the day so I don't know how well the lip liner is meant to apply if it's meant to be dark or not but I just feel like it's like it's quite hard to line the lips with them because it is so light you can't overline your lips either because it's so glittery but I really I don't mind too much because as you can see the lipsticks themselves are super pigmented they cover your lips really well they are so so dazzling in the light I love them so much um, Sovereign might take me a little while to get used to. I think maybe just with the eye makeup that I'm wearing today, it perhaps just doesn't go that well. I think maybe like a really nice brown smoky eye with that liquid lipstick would look beautiful. Um, the only other thing that I thought of to tell you about the metallic ones is I did see someone post, uh, someone from Makeup Revolution, I think it was on Twitter, say that they dry down matte but I don't think they do. I mean after like an hour and a half of wearing them they're not as glossy as they are right now. Like I've had this on for, I think I reapplied it about 40 minutes ago and you can you can see like my lips there hopefully you can see that so they're not completely matte but I don't know if you can get completely matte metallic lipsticks because obviously there has to be something in it that makes it like glossy and metallic I'm not sure obviously I don't make makeup so I don't know I just love it um, but yeah they're definitely not matte they dry down a little bit mo less glossy than this after probably about two one and a half to two hours um, but yeah they, they're not like transfer proof or anything like that I would actually say that these feel more glossy than the lip glosses but again I don't mind any of the formulas because they're not sticky on the lips, my hair doesn't stick to them, they're really comfortable and creamy and yeah I just think that they, they feel really moisturising as well. Also they don't have any scent so there's nothing that puts me off them and I absolutely love them. I, I hope they bring out more of the glosses and the, the metallics because I would definitely get more. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know by commenting down below and if you're excited to grab some of these products if you have them already. Um, let me know what you think of them. Let's start a good discussion going on the comments because I love chatting back and forward to you guys. Thank you so so much for watching and thank you also for requesting this video. Um, I did do a little Twitter poll and you guys wanted to see this one instead of my test and primer makeup video which is good. I was having a major hassle trying to edit that. <laughs> so that one will definitely be up next week for you guys so make sure to subscribe and click the little bell notification just down there. Just do it. Just do it now whilst you're on the video. You might as well. Might as well subscribe. And also, whilst you're here, head on over to my Big Makeup Revolution giveaway. It's going to be linked in the description box too, if you've not seen that already. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!